Hello and welcome to The Collapse Experiment. Today I'm talking about Netflix's new release, The Big Four. Yeah, The, the Big Four. You haven't heard of it? Neither have I. Let's check it out. So The Big Four opens up with a child being taken to what they think is an orphanage. And it turns out it is a human harvesting organ uh, facility. So these kids are brought in, they're taken care of until certain things are needed. Those are extracted and then they are uh, <clears throat> discarded. Now the description of this movie talks about a band of four retired assassins. Uh, I feel like that description is inaccurate as I'm watching the movie, you know. It's more like these kids or these guys um, are actually mercenaries that have been trained in how to do the things that they do. And there's an older man that raised them, um, teaching them their different skills. There's uh, one guy There's who's the black guy. He's the sniper. Then there's a, a woman in the film. And her name's Alpha. And uh, that's the one you kind of want to watch throughout the whole thing. Because she's just uh, pretty funny and witty. Um, a more enjoyable version of the, the chick from Cowboy Bebop. Um, you actually look forward to seeing her on camera. Because... Uh, she kind of steals the show with like her facial expressions and some of the things that she does. Then uh, there's the, the leader of the group. And he's the oldest out of the bunch. Runs around with pistols usually. Taking guys out. And then there's the goofy kid. Which I still really haven't... Other than being like a human punching bag, I haven't figured out like why how he fits in where like what his uh, <laughs> uh how how he ended up in the group or like why he's a part of it so yeah um there's these four guys and <clears throat> and girls so they end up retiring for like three years and then the guy who ran everything is killed and his daughter, who's a cop, go figure. He, he raises like four mercenaries to go around killing people for good. And then his daughter turns into a cop. <laughs> so she's trying to find the person who killed her dad. <clears throat> she's blaming the big four. You know, come to find out, you know, they had nothing to do with it. They start working together, yada, yada, yada. So, what is it about this movie uh, that makes it to where I'm talking about it today? Yes, it's an action film. <clears throat> yes, there's a bunch of hokey shit that goes on in it. There's a lot of CGI. There's a lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense and will probably drive you nuts. But it is, nonetheless, entertaining. So... You have these guys running around, or they're being chased by these dudes, and they don't know why exactly they're being chased. But somebody wants all four of them eliminated. And uh, it's a mix of comedy, almost slapstick. It's It kind of reminds me in some ways of like maybe an, an Indonesian version of uh, Kung Fu Hustle if you will, with some of the, the things that they do in this. And Kung Fu Hustle, I'm going to say I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny. I liked a lot of the stuff that they did on it. <clears throat> it was definitely entertaining. Granted, a lot of the stuff was very slapstick, Warner Brothers cartoon stuff going on. And uh, the Big Four, not as bad on that side. It's just funny. It's uh, witty. There's a lot of things happening in it. They're just either, 
either you enjoy it at the moment <clears throat> for the joke that it is, or you're just going to be like, I can't watch this. <laughs> so if you don't have a sense of humor about fight scenes <clears throat> in movies, then uh, maybe it's not for you. What do I mean by that? Well, there's <clears throat> one scene at the beginning where uh, the sniper, he's on a roof. And he's listening to some beats. He has no idea what's going on. Finally, he hears somebody screaming over the, uh, the radio that uh, they need help. Turns around, grabs his, his rifle, and uh, starts uh, laying down some lead, right? Except, if you're paying attention, he has no idea how to hold a rifle. There's no way that a sniper would set up the way that he did. And uh, the third problem I came across was <clears throat> dude never moved from his spot. So he take out like two or three guys and he's popping up at the same exact spot that he was before. He wasn't moving around. So uh, right away I'm like, what kind of movie is this exactly? But as it progressed, and I realized as to what was going on, and keep in mind, <clears throat> this movie uh, is in subtitles. There's no English option for, uh, for dialogue or the audio. So you're going to have to read as the movie's going along. But, you know, it's easy to follow. I don't know if it's simplified English or not, but... Uh, Anyways, you can still read the uh, subtitles and follow the movie, and it's not really that discombobulating. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other funny parts of it as well. Um, some of the ridiculous stuff that happens, like, they're, uh, they're trying to escape in a tuk-tuk. If you know what a tuk-tuk is, <clears throat> it's basically a three-wheel motorcycle... It's not even a motorcycle though. It's a freaking, uh, it's like a little moped that has a huge cart on the back with two wheels and uh, people ride in it and they're trying to escape. It's like a high speed chase in this stupid thing, right? And there's a guy in a motorcycle behind him carrying a Chinese AK, like a really shitty version Chinese AK by the way. and. Even though there's like these thin like one inch metal rails that hold the roof up on top and everything is wide open in the inside. That's the only thing that this guy seems to be able to hit. So again, you suspend your, your disbelief. You'll watch it for the entertainment. And some of this, I don't know, maybe some of that stuff is meant to be that bad to where you're just kind of laughing. And if that's the case, they definitely hit the jackpot on that one. They figured it out. But, uh, yeah, later on, there's the, uh, <laughs> as the sniper put it, the hot Asian chick <laughs> carrying around a bazooka. And at one point, he takes his uh, broken sniper rifle and, like, throws it at her. And, of course, it hits the, uh, the, what, the... It's a so, yeah, he ends up hitting the rocket inside the bazooka, which ignites it, which it wouldn't, <laughs> and she blows up. And uh, it's stuff like that, you know, that, that crazy shit. It's kind of like um, Arnold in Commando. Let out some steam. So the big four, I'd have to say three out of five. You know, just because the fight scenes were not all that great. They were entertaining. But, and they tried to make up for it with humor and other things. So you can't fault them for that. <clears throat> Most of the guns that they were shooting, it was all CGI. CGI bullets, casings coming out. CGI flashes. Um... Nobody is experiencing any kind of recoil while they are uh, shooting. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of that going on. Um, you know, the, the characters are very, very hokey, but entertaining. 
they're all very different. You know, there's one movie that I had high hopes for back several years ago, and it was The Losers. The comic, you know, it was what it was. Not all that great. I'm surprised that they tried to turn it into a movie. I own it. I read it. And it was just kind of like, eh, it was mediocre at best. So, with the movie, you could expect them to tweak it and make it a little better. There was, you know, Chris Evans had that nice funny scene where he's uh, in the hallway holding his hands up like they're guns and the sniper's taking out some dudes across the street. But that's the only scene you ever see on, on YouTube from that freaking movie because it's really the only creative funny thing that they decided to put in the entire goddamn thing so this was not the losers okay the big four was definitely above that and uh you know it was uh well it's set up to have a sequel i can tell you that that's not really a spoiler but uh you can probably expect Netflix to put out another one of these things in the next year or two. And, uh, you know, sometimes in life you just got to have something to look forward to. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to this. Just because it was, it was pretty funny. It was entertaining. Uh, it's a lot better than a lot of the shit that Netflix has been putting out recently. It's a lot... <laughs> I'll put it this way. It's a lot better than the stuff that Marvel has been putting out recently, okay? So, you can either say, wow, so it's just not as bad as a Marvel movie, or, or wow, okay, so it might be, might be good. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I kind of set the bar low on that one. Overall, the big four, three out of five. It's worth checking out. It's on Netflix. Um, if you don't like subtitles, then don't bother. You've been warned. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's kind of reminds me of one, like one of those zany, funny movies that you would have found, like maybe 20 years ago in the early aughts, where it was just a, a combination of like, oh, well, definitely not rom-com comedic action that's that's how i'll put it it's definitely a very comedic action film and uh i think it deserves uh people's time if that sounds like something that they're interested in so you know if i do see a bad movie odds are i'm not gonna do a review on it and if it is a bad movie but I can make fun of it in an enter entertaining way. That's that's when I'll do a review shitting on it. But only because the uh, the review itself would be the entertainment, not the movie. But uh, that's not this film here. So yeah, the big four. Go check it out. Netflix. Let me know what you think. And uh, keep on typing.